Visionaries is proud to present its 12th season on public television. Visionaries is produced in partnership with the Ash Institute for Democratic Governance and Innovation at Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government. Visionaries is made possible in part by W.G. and Margaret Gregg, the International Transport Workers Federation Seafarers Trust, the Campion Fund. Additional funding provided by Sometimes you read the paper and watch the news, and it seems like there's more bad news than good in the world. But you know what? It's just not true. I at least can hold on to something. That there's something, maybe it's small, but there's something that I'm doing to make a difference. It's just a feeling that you have. You can help people. You have to. There's no alternative. Every child has potential that we just can't know. And so to my mind, that's what we're doing. We are saving potential for the future. How do you inspire young people to think deeply about the issues of our time, to play a role in confronting the challenges of the future? One college prep school outside Aspen, Colorado, is doing just that. Students at Colorado Rocky Mountain School are challenged beyond rigorous academics with a curriculum that doesn't just prepare them for college, it prepares them for life. A life that includes a passion for learning and a life of giving back. CRMS sits at the juncture of the Roaring Fork and Crystal Rivers in western Colorado. Everything about the place, the people, the communities just becomes a part of you. So you had eight on the... Web. We learn about the world that we're going into and we learn about what's going on. We know that we have to change something. We don't know what we can become. We don't know that there is this latent being inside of us that struggles to emerge. The roar of I was very lucky to find this school and to connect with it as a young man. I'm growing old here. Um, I feel that what continues to hold me here is the promise that CRMS makes to its student body. We're really trying to develop students that can make a difference in our world. I'm just ready and ready to experience the next part of my life because what this place has given to me. Everyone has a passion and everyone is concerned and everyone laughs and smiles a lot. Three o'clock school does not end. Like the learning does not stop after you get out of classes. I feel 100% prepared now to go to college, to go live by myself, to just live in the world. And I wouldn't have found that going to another school. Because I want you to demonstrate the fact that you know how to use all these techniques. Okay? In the academic environment, it forms the cornerstone of the student's experience. We strive to push kids to learn about themselves through our academic program. Everyone? Class size at CRMS is small. Because of that, each student gets the full attention of their teacher. What's the value? We want to challenge kids to engage in their classes in a rigorous, thoughtful, and reflective way. Does the father do you think he does this intentionally because he's kind For of... For homework, you don't do it because you want a good grade. You do it because you want to be involved in tomorrow's conversations. I went to um, a freshman lit course at a college in California, and I was blown away because I was about 10 steps ahead of 
everyone in the course. And also, like, you see yourself improve every day. Yeah. Like, in my drawing and painting class, the first thing I draw was a zucchini that looked like a mouse. <laughs> I mean, it was completely ridiculous. I color the shadow really you good. just see yourself improve every day where you can draw boxes, then you can suddenly draw these stuffed animals, and you can draw, like, a beautiful shell. That gives you a lot of self-confidence. The students that come here are really curious. They really want to learn, and they enjoy being outdoors. They enjoy the academic environment. They're very in tune to what's going on in the world, and they think, how can I help? What can I do? How can I be involved? And it's that sort of very proactive mentality that they have that really makes this place special. They've been well prepared academically. They're used to being independent. They're able to balance their academics with many different kinds of extracurricular activities. It takes a special student. Our kids are busy all the time. All right, I gotta go. My conversation with them is where do they want to go next? And it's such an exciting process. So Princeton had what you're looking for in terms of? Yeah, they have um, their biology program is one of the strongest programs and uh -huh. that's what I'm looking for. Uh -huh. There's a magic here among the students, among the teachers. There's an ease, there's a flow for the kids to just drop into a community and be welcomed. And I don't think there's anything that's more important to a parent than to see your, your child just opening. And, and he said, you know, at lunch, Mom, the kids aren't talking about other kids. They're talking about things that are happening in the world. We want kids to participate in their lives. We are able to place kids in learning situations as high school students that prepare them for a life of engagement. Okay, let's click on this one. You want to do well in their classes just because of how much they inspire you. Uh, yeah, that's good. I would even need and to add in. I always go out kayaking or riding my bike with, the, with my teachers, and I think that's so amazing to be able to do that. They really work with you, and they encourage extra help. And you know, that's why they give you their home phone numbers and cell phone numbers, yes. and that's why they live on campus, so that you can come over and ask them for anything. Okay. I'm there till, I mean, I'm there for all of study hall, till 945. In today's world, it's awfully easy for people to hide. Here at CRMS, kids can't hide. And I think that, by and large, kids don't want to hide. Because I've done this stuff before, I kind of trust the systems and I trust the people who are uh, like holding on to my life. Is it okay to keep going? Whatever goal they have, it takes a lot of work. They'll probably be able to look back and say, okay, I did these things. I know I can at least put my full effort into this. It's, it's done it for me ever since I was in high school. and I'm pretty darn sure it'll do it for them too. I'm Dennis Sanders and I'm a teacher. My whole life is sort of an example of what I learned here. You can't be afraid of failure. And I got to learn that in high school and be supported here by the faculty who are unbelievable people. I mean, they give so much of who they are. And my mom went to your philosophy class and she said, she walked out and she goes, all right, if you want to go, I'll let you go. Oh, that's great. So you have the support and the ability to grow up and to, to challenge yourself, but also to be in a community and to be responsible for yourself and everyone else in the community. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. See you, Max. Bye. Students take on responsibility here in a variety of different ways. They are involved in work crews. They're involved in household jobs. This for everyone? They are expected to take care of each other in our dormitories and within our community. Students, in conjunction with faculty, built the better part of the school. And so that connection to uh, building and now taking care of places that we uh, live and learn in, ultimately, uh, when they leave the school, hopefully, they'll take increasingly better care of the wider areas that they live in, that we live in. And next time we take out this fuel filter, we can uh, empty it out and see how clean it looks like the biodiesel is running through there. Cool. By creating our own fuel, we're kind of staying within the same community and not having to outsource our fuel. Being in Colorado, we push for alternative energies like this to try and play our role, which we think everyone else should do too.
you care about biodiesel and you, you care about the big issues that are going on and you learn about it in your classes and you want to do more. The outdoor program is made up of several elements here at CRMS. The primary elements involve wilderness trips. We start off the year each year with a 10-day wilderness orientation program for all of our new students. My parents thought I was crazy for wanting to come here because I didn't like to backpack. Who liked to backpack? I don't even know what backpacking was. Like, did this 10-day trip, and that was the first thing that I was like, wow, this place is really gonna like make me who I wanna be. The students here at CRMS find a tremendous amount of success in the classroom, uh, perhaps in our afternoon sporting programs. But a lot of students will find success in learning how to take care of themselves in the outdoors, in the wilderness. And that can be a tremendously empowering experience for these young people. There are things I've never done before, kayaking, mountain biking, backpacking. And I think that taking you out of that comfort zone helps you grow so much and realize how much there is out there and how much that you want to experience. It's this blend of passions and it just brings the best out in everyone. Yeah, we got it good weld on that one, so now you're going to be shaping it out. Students are served by all of the arts, by having a greater appreciation of it, and much of that appreciation comes from learning the craft of the art and therefore understanding what it takes to produce it. I wasn't afraid to, you know, try things because people aren't going to judge you if you're not good at something. They're just going to try to help you learn more and it's just probably one of the best places to learn anything new. I love it. So I want you to take a slow cross out with that and kind of, and then What we'll do is we'll sort of create a fire line. Take a swing, take a step. We love working with CRMS. They do service work with us. They do some great trail maintenance for us. What we do uh, working around the community is it's you're just giving back something and you're just through hard work, hard labor, you're getting reward in that. It's putting back into the community that um, we're a part of here at CRMS. She has a deep caring of what is fair and what is right and what is wrong. She has a thirst for knowledge that is uh, just, uh, it is so cool to see as a parent. And I think when they wrote it, I didn't think they... I really feel that we need to try to help kids find their way in their lives in a way that helps them to lead increasingly enriching lives and to try to enrich their world around them. Through the insight and the education of this older tiger, one of his kin, he's being brought alive. Okay. It's been an enormously satisfying life, yeah. You know, I've had two children who've been born here, grew up here, were cared for uh, by my colleagues here. And so, yeah, it's been an enormously satisfying life. Yeah, gosh. For sure. as motivated, mostly young people with drive, dreams, and passions. These passions and dreams are the things I feel like this school has really opened my eyes to the fact that one person can make a difference and one person can change something. In going to the school, you can't just go out to the world and not care. We're all going to go out and either in a big way or small way, we're going to change something. I'm Sam Waterston for The Visionaries. Thanks for joining us. For information about Colorado Rocky Mountain School, please visit our website at crms.org or call 970-963-2562.
This program was produced by the faculty and students of Visionaries Institute International at Chester College of New England. For more information about Visionaries, the organizations profiled, or educational opportunities, call 1-800-647-5559 or visit our website, visionaries.org. Visionaries is produced in partnership with the Ash Institute for Democratic Governance and Innovation at Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government. Visionaries is made possible in part by W.G. and Margaret Gregg, the International Transport Workers Federation Seafarers Trust, the Campion Fund. Additional funding provided by